Hello YouTube, it has been a while. So this is a quick behind the scenes, <laughs> keeping it real video, basically on why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Long story short, I have been battling aphids. It is now February 3rd. I first noticed them in mid to late December. Yes, in the middle of winter, aphids found their way inside, which probably means they were here already. Usually aphids will come in um, on your clothes, on outside produce, things you bring in from your garden or wherever else bugs get into your house. However, by bringing everything up in winter, we think we are safe. I was not safe. So I first noticed them on my lettuce grow which led me to eventually rip out most of all of the plants that aphids like, which included lots of Asian greens and mustards. I kept some stuff like my collards. I just recently moved my fairy tale eggplant into here the other day, but let's see if you can see right here. There they are, aphids. And let me tell you, I hate them. Once you get aphids, it is extremely hard to get rid of them if you have a lot of plants that they like. And when I say plants that they like, I had lots of Asian greens, with, which they love. Mustards. They love peppers. They love Swiss chard. They love radishes. They love, um, I said mustards, things that were in my garden. They are over here on these peppers. So I have been slowly eliminating plants. I refuse to get rid of all of my plants because I do not want them to win. But if you really and truly want to get rid of aphids, the best thing to do is clear everything out, do a thorough cleaning and treating, and leave your space empty for several weeks, a couple of weeks or more, to... Uh, past their life cycle so in my case what I've been doing they don't seem to bother my tomatoes much so I'm getting rid of everything that they like with a few exceptions I am not getting rid of my pepper plants I have one two three four five six seven eight nine like ten pepper plants here okay the radishes I will get rid of very soon because they will be ready to be harvested anyway. I already eliminated all my bok choy that was here. I chopped down things in the garden that they liked to little nubs the other day and then sprayed the nubs. They're starting to grow back now. You can see that mustard starting to grow back. But I'm going to eliminate those too. So I've kind of just let the garden go to hell, so to speak, because I'm getting ready to harvest all this lettuce that is coming up on the end of life anyway. Then I'm going to do my first garden reset and start over here's a pepper plant in here that you can see they have taken over so yeah once you have an aphid infestation it is a pain in the butt so with the things i'm keeping like the peppers see my cute little pot of pinos there that were just really getting going i've been spraying them every day or every other day um alternating with uh the liquid dirt recipe that you can find here on youtube and um i have dr zymes and then I have just a mix that I make. So it does kill them. But the problem with aphids is that if you miss one, the life cycle starts all over. One aphid can make a hundred or so babies within a few days. It is really crappy. I don't even understand why they have to exist. I don't understand why we have to be subjected to this torture. Just trying to grow food in our house. But this is my third year growing inside in my home. And I've dealt with them every time. I thought I was going to be okay this time. Because again, I made it all the way to December with no aphids. I started everything you see here from seed. With the exception of the stuff in my garden. Which came uh, in the Rockwell cubes from them. But they were here before that. Pretty much. They did not come from the garden cubes. I don't know where they came from. They just are a problem in my area. They're a problem outside too, but they're easy to get rid of out there because there are natural predators and um, you can just blast them off with water. People are gonna say, why don't you get some ladybugs? I would, but no. As you can see, my area is not enclosed. This is my basement. My husband's music studio is through there and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Ladybugs will not stay where you put them. You put them on your plants, they're gonna eat a few aphids, then they're gonna fly away somewhere and die in your house. So we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm just going to keep eliminating 
as many plants as I can so I have less plants to wash and worry about okay so basically I'll be down to peppers and tomatoes I will give it a few days and then I will replant some lettuce in my CG25 um, my cucumbers can stay because right now I have not noticed I'm touching the cucumbers at all the plants that I do keep what I do is I take one of these blue buckets fill it with soapy water take the plant or, or harvest the leaves immediately dunk it into the soapy water then once I have everything I'm going to harvest at that time I carry it to the kitchen sink and do a thorough washing and rinsing okay um, with plants I'm going to throw away, same thing. I still get a bucket of soapy water, dunk it in the soapy water to immediately kill the aphids, and then just get rid of those plants. So that's probably what I will be up to today. Hopefully the next time you see me here on YouTube, it'll be a happier video about how well my plants are doing. Because you can see I still have some great things going on. There is my geranium kiss tomatoes, which have been giving me a ton of tomatoes and they look great. Next to that, we have Earl Garden Mega Cherry tomatoes that are doing great. Like I mentioned, my radishes are looking good. Um, the bulbs are looking good. I actually washed those the other day. That's why the leaves look a bit, little bit sad. Cucumbers, not doing so great. Cucumbers just don't like to grow in my house. I don't know if I will ever crack that code. <laughs> my collards look really good. The eggplant looks really good. And look at this gorgeous flower that is open here now. Beautiful. So, stay tuned. I will keep you posted on my fight against the evil aphids and how that goes and what I'm doing next. All this lettuce. I'm going to harvest most of this too. Beautiful. Alright, please like and subscribe and enjoy.